Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about all this nerd stuff getting dumped in the landfills. I'm like, maybe we should start digging landfills. I know, right? Uh, yeah, so we mentioned it offhandedly in a video the other day about Magic the Gathering cards winding up in a landfill, or we had people say that some were winding up at the bottom of a lake. Uh, looked into it, and yeah, they're actually finding a pallets full of Magic cards in landfills in Texas. And this is on top of, you know, Funko making the rounds for dumping their stuff, destroying their inventory because it's not selling. In fact, the video I did the other day, and you weren't in on that one, but the video I did the other day, they were losing money because they had all these shipping crates full of unsold Funko Pops. Why didn't he, why didn't they just do like mystery things like put on your website, like hundred bucks, you get $300 worth of Pops in a mystery box. People would have bought the crap out of that. You wouldn't have lost money. They, they wouldn't did, be in a landfill. They did something like that before and they were actually like, they used to do the loot crates and stuff like that. But we had that video a couple of years ago and it was mostly Funko stuff that they were like destroying Disney Star Wars loot crates I'm just and like, stuff. To me, it just makes more sense to instead of burying it, because I mean, this stuff's not exactly going to, you know, biodegrade. It would just make more sense to do it like in, in grab boxes or just be like a giveaway. We're going to give away, you know, the 10 cases of Funko Pops, miscellaneous, you know, mix different one, ones or whatever. We're picking 10 winners. You know what I mean? They could have, they, people would have, you know, even paid to have it, you know, to buy this stuff in a, in a crate, you know? I, I'm like, always, always likes your stuff, all your crap that doesn't sell that's going to sit on their shelves for years. Yeah, because the, the Star Wars figures have been on there forever. Oh my God. So yeah, so now Magic the Gathering too. Now, People are trying to determine where these cards came from and if there are more. And I haven't been following- Probably gonna all try to find it. Yeah, treasure hunt, yeah. Yeah, and I haven't been following this super close, but as people are pointing out in videos and commentary, it is curious that they found these right after it was announced that they were overproducing cards after they got uh, all kinds of crap, uh, actually from, I think it was Bank of America, said that uh, it's devaluing their stock and all of a sudden, basically a pristine palette full of magic cards and magically winds up in a landfill. Yeah, and one they found so far. This is Hasbro, right? This is Hasbro that can't put windows on their toy boxes anymore because of the environment, but they're dumping Yes, that's what I thought, too. full of magic cards. Now, again, well, these people, cards are biodegradable, but not the packaging. Right, right. Now, people are trying to figure out, again, it, did Hasbro dump it or did distributors... And I've seen arguments. I wondered that too. I, I thought it could be, it could go either way. Um, yeah. So this guy seems to think, uh, if I'm, I'm, you know, watching his video, he seems to think that it could be direct from Hasbro. Other people said that it could be, uh, you know, distributor like a Walmart or a Target or something. But basically the stuff's getting dumped because it's not selling. It's well, not selling. So if they're going to dump this stuff and, and the landfills anyway, can I make a suggestion that they, that they do what some companies do where they put seeds inside of the, the paper? So if you're going to dump them anyway, at least that way the seeds are in there so to grow plants or trees or some kind of shit that's actually beneficial instead of, you know, even I do like the, the, the fighting squirrel thing on the front of this. The fighting I'm squirrel. like, I like that. That that's I love squirrels. It's a problem. And, and bunnies. And I'm just like, oh, my God, he's so cute. You should, she, I'm not going to you know, assume. You should make them edible so the squirrels and the bunnies can eat them. Oh, my God. If they made magic cards edible, edibles. Yes. You decide you don't want that card anymore, you know. Right. You could be happy about getting rid of it. What if you could turn magic cards into feminine hygiene products? <laughs> you know, magic well, tampons. I know some people probably wipe their asses with them. Yeah. Well, a lot of retailers are wiping their asses with them because they can't sell what they got and they keep dumping more. Let's talk about this. Uh, again, you know, I, I do D&D. I don't do magic so My much. My brother used to do magic. But I do know I talked to a guy who's a retailer just a couple weeks ago. And I asked him about the situation. He said, yeah, it's pretty bad. He said, we can't sell what we got. And they keep trying to send us more. And uh, a lot of people are upset. A lot of people are worried because, you know, they're devaluing the brand yes. in general. And a lot of the sales, his sales, I guess, depend on selling rare cards. And, and people are just noping out of a hobby completely. At well, it's point, too so. many. But then the flip side is, what are they going to do? They can't just like not make any because they need the money. But people are just, it's its flooded. Take yeah. a break. Take a break and don't sell any for a you, couple years you, and then come back. You can't do that. This is Hasbro. Hasbro is so hard up for cash at this point. They laid off, was it 15, 17% of their staff? 
and they're trying to, to get as much blood out of the stuff that makes money. And they had a huge boom in you know board game sales and D and D sales, magic sales during the pandemic because people were locked in their houses and they didn't have anything else. And to that's do. when a lot of the shit started going down big time. Right. And then it already like, was, but it really took a nosedive then. So they're like, oh, cool. People are buying magic cards, buying Pokemon cards, whatever. Let's just make as many as we possibly can to make as much I mean, it's money like as we can. It's money, I get it. But now the 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 money train has stopped. Maybe you should like say, Hey, we're taking a break. We're on a break. The money, the money train is derailed. So let's let's talk about this before we get into any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred ninety-seven, almost three hundred thousand subs. I don't know what we're gonna do for three hundred thousand. Oh, we'll do a live stream of some kind. Yeah, we'll do it. A saucy live stream. What's that even mean? We'll eat magic cards. On. I was gonna say you're gonna you should say saucy live stream, and then you just get different spaghetti sauces and taste test them. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, so this is actually coming from The Gamer with their big-ass ads. Um, Magic the Gathering players tracked down over $250,000 worth crap. of cards in a Texas landfill. That's, that's a lot. That's what they found. Now, how many landfills have Magic cards in them that you're not going to find? And this is... This or other is, things. That they're just dumping them off in landfills. Right. Because, I mean... I, yeah, that's what it reminds me of, the E.T. Reminds me of the E.T. Yeah, E.T. and Atari games. They couldn't get rid of them. I remember... I mean, I was really little when Atari was out, but I remember for years after the fact, like even when Nintendo and Sega were around, you could find Atari games for like a buck at toy stores because they had so many of them and they just like dumped. And E.T. was dog shit. It was horrible. My friend had it. And I'm like, I don't even understand the point of this game. You run around until you fall in a hole and then you stretch your neck to get out of the hole and then you fall into another hole and then you run away from a guy in a trench coat. And then you the, fall into another hole. The plot of this game was money. Yeah. Well, everybody was trying to make games in the, in the <laughs> video game craze. They made the – was it Chase the Chuck Wagon game? Chase the Chuck it was It was anti-money is what it was. It was like it, it helped destroy the industry. Anyway, here we go. Uh, $250,000 worth of magic cards. You bet your bomb dollar someone somewhere out there is one more magic cards. Yeah, right. On the Pix subreddit, uh, someone posted a picture of boxes of Magic the Gathering cards in a landfill in the U.S., it's six pallets of cards. Six pallets. Doing the math, six layers per pallet, 12 cardboard boxes per layer, four display boxes per cardboard box. It's around oh, 1,700 wow. display boxes in the six okay, pallets. Okay, then it probably wouldn't be this, I mean, just like a, a you know retailer or something like that. No, that's what people are trying to figure out. They're like, oh, some, like, because somebody tried to say that, like, oh, Walmart must have hit this pallet with a forklift, and so they just dumped the whole. It's like, no, there are people that are like, this probably came from Hasbro. And if this came from Hasbro, there's probably a shit ton more that people haven't found. Right. And this seems like it's a reaction to them being called out for overproducing cards. Like, fine, we'll just throw them in a landfill. And like, you assholes, you can't even put bubbles on your action figures so people can see what they're buying. Yeah, and then people are finding out the parts are missing or yeah. like the faces are wonky. The, they're broken. The toys are broken. You can see how bad the paint apps are. Like I'm looking at Transformers now and I can see a decline just in the last two or three years in like the paint applications on Transformers. That's why I started buying you the really nice ones. Oh, the Takara, the Takara ones? ones? Yeah. And they say on the box, like if you buy the Takara Transformers from Hasbro, it'll say on the box, this is an actual Takara Transformer. So it's like, oh, okay. So it's going to be decent quality again. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be the trash that you guys They're have been made better. Out. They're going to have better materials, better paints. So they figured this out. And yeah, at $150 a box, it's close to $260,000 worth of product. Holy shnikes. It's an astonishingly valuable find just sitting there in the land. Well, it doesn't, doesn't even count their rare cards inside some of the packs, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after the photo, the pallets were shared. Now here's, here it is right there. Look at that. All those magic cards. Look at that. And they're like right on top. They're not even hot. They're like just dumped right on top. And it, it, it's recent because look, the yeah, pallets Yeah, it hasn't been look, rain or anything. They're no. Just... Um, so it's, it's obviously recent. And again, uh, people think it's, it's in response to this, that they were, you know, destroying cards potentially. That's, that's my, honestly, that was my first thought. My first thought was they were been called out recently about how they're overproducing and it, these are investors and stuff getting upset. They're like, you know, I, I, you know, it's not a good investment because you guys are making too many. And then suddenly they end up in a landfill. Yeah. They said, why would such valuable cards and so many end up in a landfill? Uh, while we won't know the exact answer, there's speculation. It's possible someone, a collector and or seller ordered this big haul, but the delivery company could have required the buyer to shell out for a forklift. Why would they 
okay, bullshit. Why would they, okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. They bought this big hall, but didn't want a forklift. They wouldn't spend. They would spend two hundred thousand dollars, not for the forklift. So they just dumped it in, in, in a in a landfill. Yeah. I mean, you still pay all that money. Why not pay to rent a forklift? That makes no sense. They're not calling out Hasbro. They said maybe there's a defect. Perhaps a box was bent or missed some items and the customer is unhappy and demands a refund or replacement. But that would still not explain why it would end up in a landfill unless no. it was because it would be sent back to the manufacturer. But since the boxes are unopened, we have no way of knowing if the boxes contain gold or if it's just trash. If only someone could go to the landfill and take a look. Well, someone did. And it's, uh, it's not clear just how the individual was able to track down the exact landfill and the speed. With which they did so, but the OP but got but there. But they already knew where it was because they knew where they got dumped there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the OP got there, take the photo of the boxes and discover what's inside. It seems they found some treasure sharing a photo of what was inside. It was a, a booster pack of the Modern Horizons 2 set. Uh, straight up fine for the ages. Many Magic fans were positively drooling over the discovery. But what about the legality of taking stuff from a landfill? This is where things get tricky. Uh, they're kind of skirting over... They're not... Talk about who did it. They're just like... No, because I think they're afraid to. Um, There are people saying they flat out think it's Hasbro. They think Hasbro is dumping magic cards because of Bank of America calling them out and saying, hey, you're overproducing this shit. But they, back to the whole... I mean, what's the legality? Well, what's that? One man's trash and another man's treasure? But yeah. the legality thing... That, okay, so wait. You're supposed to just leave them in the, in the dump? Just leave them there, even yeah. though somebody wants them. So they're, that's less landfill trash. Yeah. Because somebody actually wants it because, that, you know, we might go after them legally because they took something from the landfill that someone threw away and it actually removes trash from our landfill so we have more room for actual trash. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? But yeah, people are trying to, they're basically trying to justify, they're like, Hasbro would never, Hasbro would never. It got whacked with a forklift. Oh, I don't understand. That's got to be the trucking company. There's no way the cards posted a few days ago, trucking company claims will stall for months. Yeah. Well, it could be. I mean, I'm not that. That's, that's a valid, you know, thing to think about because they're trying to hide that they damaged them, or they oh, we got lost. You know, it's possible. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not. No, I said in Walmart's case, though, and we know people that actually do this. It said a lot of times if they get a damaged right. pallet, they'll actually auction off the. Yeah, the I don't stuff. think. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. So people, you can buy, it. you can buy truckloads. Yep. From Walmart, and they will send you pallets of things that got on Amazon, same thing. And then they'll send you pallets of items. Some of them are, have damaged boxes. Um, some of them are fine. And, you know, it's overrun, return, things like that. They'll just send it to the people who buy the truckloads. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I, I mean, we don't know the origin, but I, I am speculating on my end that it probably is direct from Hasbro or one of their warehouses or something because of what's going on with Funko where they basically said it's cheaper for them to just destroy all this unsold merchandise than to pay to warehouse it or try to pawn it off on the people, whatever. So $30 million. It wouldn't have been cheaper. They could have totally done well, they can like take a, mystery boxes or whatever. They can take a write-off. I was just That's, in Michael's. It's a write-down. I was just, you know? well, I can too by selling mystery boxes. I was in Michael's just the other day at the craft store. And they're doing this thing where they have all up front, they had these big boxes, like mystery boxes, 10 bucks, and you got whatever was in the box. And they are guaranteed to be valued at a certain amount, right? Yeah. Places do it all the time when they have overstock. Like I know a lot of places do mystery boxes, like Squishables is mystery squish. I know like ColourPop Cosmetics is mystery packages. Different places do that because they have unsold um, merchandise and people will be like, oh, I get a discount. And like, we, we promise you'll get this much, you know, amount for this mm -hmm. much price. People love that shit. They buy the heck out of it. If you had said, "Hey, we're going to have mixed lots of you know for this much money," people would have bought them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I think they probably would have. But um, you know, it also this is not a good look because what happens is now people are like, "Wait, you're obviously your stuff's not selling," you know, because you can hide it and be like, "Oh, right. we're, we're selling out of these." You know, you you need to buy the new assortment because we're selling out. In reality, there's like a ton of them sitting in shipping crates. Mm -hmm. And same with magic cards. Like, oh, these cards are rare. You got to buy. And we've seen people fighting over magic cards, fighting over Pokemon cards online, especially during the pandemic, you know, to flip them. And if it's like, oh, yeah, we actually had like tons and tons and tons of these things. And we just like freaking. Well, dumped them. at this point, I mean, I just would make less for one. And two, like I've noticed too, like with the Disney 100, I was covering the different Funko Pops coming out for that. I know a lot of them were pre-order and I was kind of wondering, are we, I mean, there's been pre-orders before, but I wonder if they're going to lean more into that because they know how many they need to produce as opposed to overproducing. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is funny. The top comment on this guy's video, right? Again, nobody knows for sure where, I want to be clear. Nobody knows for sure where 
the cars are actually coming from. Um, in a year, WOTC will announce, hey, a while ago, we buried some thousands of sealed products in the Texas desert. We forgot about it, but thanks to some fans who went out digging, we found them. We found them, everybody. We want to share the story. Yeah, something. You know, they'll put positive spin on it. Like, oh, the OGL thing? Yeah, that was just a draft. It was a treasure hunt we set up for the fans. We set it up. You guys, oh, you spoiled the fun. We were going to do a treasure hunt. And oh my God, guys, you're so good. Wow. That, that's how dedicated our fan base is. Buy more shit. Yeah. yeah buy more shit. All right. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.